what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to Upstate Speed Tests. Got a quick video for you today. So this small cell sitting on that pole right next to the Anthony's fuel sign uh, to the left of it, this, uh, let's see if I can get my finger in there, this guy right here, uh, is actually technically not a small cell. It's part of an outdoor distributed antenna system. There's more than 50 of these distributed through the west side of Binghamton. They were built around 2015 or 16. I'll throw a map up on the screen to show you guys exactly how many of these there are. Uh, it's pretty incredible actually. So let's run a quick speed test on all three networks and see what the performance is like. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting my camera to focus. All right. So, Verizon, looks like we're going to get about 180 down, I'm guessing it's going to cap out around. Some of these cells you can hit like 260, 250, something like that. <coughs> it really just depends on what band combination it uses. Right now it's on band 2, and I can tell by the upload, because in our area, band 2 was widened from 10 megahertz to 20, and that really helped bump up the upload speed. Uh, Alright, bear with me one second, I'm going to switch over to T-Mobile, and we'll give it a go. Alright guys, so T-Mobile is running a very weak signal in this area. It's kind of in between macro towers for them. They're not part of this antenna system. Um, and it shows. Let's, all right, I reloaded the speed test app. Let's try again. Usually you can connect on T-Mobile here, but the results are not that impressive. <coughs> So we air it out on T-Mobile. I'll give it one last go around. I'm going to refresh the modem. All right. It looks like T-Mobile is down to LT. Oh, never mind. It's deciding to refresh again. Error. Let's try one more time here. All right, so T-Mobile is a no-show for this speed test, and I can believe it. They have a pretty large gap between cell sites on the west side of Binghamton here. All right, guys, we're back. We've switched over to Boost Mobile, who, by the way, is on day number seven of their internal network outage. But uh, let's give them a go and see what happens. The outage is not affecting cell service because it's run on AT&T. However... Your personal data may have been scraped. We will, I guess we'll find out when they tell us the extent of the leak. Well, looks like at and is a no-show here too. Let's give it a refresh. <coughs> So we've refreshed the modem, and let's see what AT&T can pull. Yikes. All right, that ping time is not a good sign. Download speeds are terrible. Well, I shouldn't say terrible. You can still do things with that, it's just not great. <coughs> So 382 for the ping, 3049 for the download pay, loaded ping, 1774 for the loaded upload ping, jitter is 479. So, uh, you know, Verizon, Verizon's investment in small cells uh, really pays off on this part of town. 
in a lot of spots on the west side, I can tell you these results are pretty similar. They're the only provider that uh, consistently works on the west side of town. So, you know, Verizon, uh, their reputation for reliability uh, really coming in clutch here on the west side of Binghamton. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up, click subscribe down below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.